let's discuss your case study proceed. So this is it, a 13 page document. Start from exhibit one. So this is exhibit one about you. Who are you in this case now? You are John Adeshola. That's your name. So in no case should you change this name. This is the name the examiner wants you to bear. Your employer is Osayeme Adenowo Shukura and Co. Chartered Accountant. So you are John Adeshola writing a professional level of ICANN examination. You are employed as a trainee in the firm of Osayeme Adenowo Shukura and Co. Chartered Accountant. So you are reporting to Julius Idemudia, partner in charge of the hospitality group within the fair. You have your responsibilities. So basically, you yeah, are John Adishola and um, the firm you are working with is this Osayeme Adilo Shukura and Kuchata Accountant. So that's the firm you are working with. And anytime you see that you are working with a firm of total accountants, just have it in mind that you are writing an external report. So your responsibilities include the following. All right. So what are your responsibilities? Here yeah, we have preparing detailed financial analysis. But out of these responsibilities here, yeah, this particular one, strange, more or less like it's a new addition to the list of responsibilities that your examiner has always been including. So, in that regard, yeah, this would be part of your requirement. I've recovered this. Yes. You'll be receiving the, the predicted on scene. Yeah, so everything will be there. So, just for you to, to read. But there is guideline to the crime. And I'm still coming to that part. Like you said, that requirement, five would be part of your requirement. Don't miss it. Yeah, so this is an additional responsibility. It would be part of your requirement. So now, I also mentioned that here, yeah, this is relating to a previous diet. I still explain to you the similarity here, yeah? so so you can be well convinced that that's exactly what examiner wants to uh, bring up. So now, so the responsibilities also require you to be uh, up to date about the accounting and taxation space, including the hospitality industry. Yeah, so about the taxation, yeah, they said I would recommend, you know, strategic tax planning strategies for optimal tax liabilities, more or less like, you know, tax planning strategies, you know, to what? To legally uh, reduce the tax liabilities, you know, more or less like tax avoidance. And uh, you know, tax avoidance is legal. Yeah, so we would still need to read up on this. And don't worry, I would try to like create something on that in the unseen. But you'll be asked to give those strategies. So here we have the exhibit two. This is Spicy Confectionaries Limited. So here we have um, information about the business structure, the strategies, the model, and so on and so forth. So yeah, they give you a lot of information about spicy confectionaries limited. So we have your exhibit two, and um, yeah, I told you that spicy confectionaries limited. It was formed in 2010. That is, it was established in 2010, and um, it manufactures and sells top quality confectionery. I mean, this company is known for selling quality confectionaries. Make sure you take note of that. So for many years, it is widely known and has been recognized as a successful company. So when a company is widely known, what do you think is the implication of that? It means it's a leader in the market. Okay. Leader in the market. Okay. It is an international company. Yeah, it, has, it is an international company. It is known worldwide. Okay. Okay, so I mean, we are still saying the same thing that is, it is known. You know, when the company is known, you know, that is, it's like established to something that has, has grown, you know, up to a certain level. 
more or less like it is at its maturity stage. Yeah, so but just take note of that. That's has to commit to that part. It has been recognized as a successful company and has become a household name. So, I mean, that's basically a strength because it's just like we think, you know, toothpaste now. What was the first brand that will come to your mind? No, sir. Uh, you're thinking of Nudus. What was the first brand that will come to your mind? Indomie. Indomie. Exactly, Indomie. To the extent that some people don't even know that Indomie is a brand. They just call all Nudus Indomie. Spicy has now become like that. You know, a household name. That's a strength to this company because that alone it has won the heart of many people and um, that will continue to keep them in business because people will keep patronizing them so now also it is built on very high quality confectionery product so that also is also a strength because i mean here yeah, you are known and you are known for quality so it sells through its own stores and um, they are strategically located in you know in both cities which cities abuja and lagos so strategic location of the stores too it is a strength the i want to avoid this from here now in mean, widely known and also name that's one high quality confectionery that's two strategic location of the stores that's three so now let's proceed so some of these stores they are operated from buildings owned by spicy and um, others are operating on leased properties so do you think there's anything wrong with that spicy owns some of the stores that it is operating in likewise some of them they are on lease maybe uh, spicy could not acquire them so spicy just had to lease them so do you think there's anything wrong with this yes sir from the leasing of property in case if the owner of the property said he or she is not leasing out the property again um spicy might have to stop selling in that particular area or it might be difficult for spicy to get another space in that area which might make spicy to lose customer that's brilliant additionally okay the spices compensatory we have less control on those lease one. You will not have total control on them. And they we are not going to be sending only the spices conventionary. Fantastic. I'm impressed. So we look at it from two perspectives, the positive perspective and the negative perspective. Now let's start from the positive perspective. So now the first is diversification of risk in the sense that you know the fact that spicy the fact that spicy owned some of these buildings and spicy leased some of these buildings from the positive perspective now we we'll say that you know, it would less strain the financials of spice because the cost of acquiring properties you know, would be huge and um, you know leasing it to just the paying lease rent out every year of or every particular period of time so basically that that would not like strain the financials of of spicy yeah so basically now also this would make it easier for spicy to reach more audience because spicy does not need to acquire the whole of the properties it is just lease a particular space there you know then you know pay lease rent house you know at every period of time and that's it so that's an expansion strategy basically now from the negative part now there's lack of control and this lack of control basically you know it would happen in the sense that it's just like a building now having variety of stores so spicy cannot control the fact that you know a competitor can come and lease another store in that same building you know to compete with spicy so that's where the lack of control comes into play that's the explanation of that particular line so you now see where interpretation skill is very very important now i mean this is not the first paragraph 
look at the discussions we've made on them on the first paragraph only. So we're told that Spicy has its factory in Lagos from where the business originally started. The products are distributed through a multi channel network. It comprises of the stores, the online business, the franchise, the retail partners. So these are expansion strategies for Spicy. Yeah, so Spicy now started to supply confectionery to large retail store and supermarket on contract basis. So that contract basis here now, you know, there is the potential what? If I'm talking about that contract here, the contract legally signed here, you get. So, I mean, there is a potential legal risk here. Where is the legal risk coming from? In case Spicy fails, you know, to meet up with the terms of the contract. Yeah, so that's the legal risk that is coming up. So, Spicy must not fail to meet up with the terms of the contract or else, you know, there is a breach of what? Of contract and, you know, Spicy would be what? Would be liable. So, I'm sure you're taking note of all this. The next is that the store sells Spicy's products and also own brand label. Own brand label confectionery that spices manufactures for them. So basically, now the large retail store now that spices is supplying to, yeah, they, they, they sell spices product and also they sell the the product that spicy manufactures for them. You know, they will now put their own label. You know, more or less like you know, you are a retailer of Zobo now, so you now have to buy Zobo in bulk. You know, you tell the person that does the Zobo that you should not put label, you now put your own label there. So what, what, what do you think is happening there? There can be imitation of the product. Imitation? Okay, but why imitation when, I mean, we are supplying and, you know, just put the brand. Both party knows. You know, it's not like it's something that is eating. Product differentiation and uniqueness of their own product. So, like, distinction of their own product in the market will be very hard to say that okay, this is a spicy product because they have like that same product everywhere with just different brands. I think it's the, that they have franchise, yes, but 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 no, he was franchised there. Yeah, I will say it. I said spicy has now started to supply confectionery to what large retail store and supermarket. The stores now, that's the large retail store, they sell the product and the own brand label. So it's clear, it's not a franchise. Basically, yeah, I would agree with the competition. At least, it's just like, like Spicy trying to agree to an artificial competition for its product. This should uh, affect the uniqueness of Spicy's product too. Do you get that? Yeah. It's just like Spicy agreeing to an artificial competition for its products. Yeah, because they will be selling using their own label, more or less like them producing it because they are large stores. In this case now, do you think they want to prioritize the sale of Spicy's products or they want to prioritize the one that has their own label? What, what do you think will happen there? I said they will prioritize their own because they will make more profit and sales from it. From they are selling their own rather than spices on. Um, I think Fantastic. they will prioritize their own. Not only that they will make profit, but they, their brand, their name will also be known. So the brand name will be known rather than spices name. They will be increasing their market Very good. size. Like that. Very good. Very good. They want to, they want to prevent market penetration by the other company. Okay. I want to prevent market penetration. But, I mean, imagine you be spicy now. And I'm now saying, ah, well, yeah, you will supply to me, but that product, you will not put your label. I'll put my own label. Yeah. And uh, you also supply your own, you know, you supply your own with label. You know, so, more or less like, you mean fooling you that, do you think I want to sell your own first? At the expense of the one that I'll put my own label? 
they start even the producer. They are even do they are trying to prevent market penetration. That is not the right way. Yeah, so it's just like the uh, spicy are going to what an artificial competition. You know that is artificial is mammy. We'll put a comment there. Yeah, pseudo competition. Pseudo competition, that's number one. Then secondly, what Spicy is trying to do there is basically B2B now, not B2C. You know, in B2B, you don't need to put your brand, even if you are the one that manufactured it. So that is, that's what I think they are okay. trying to do there. So put it there. That's supposed to go break down everything in the present. Yeah, we'll now come to the discussion of our report. Yeah, so let's go ahead. So the next is now saying that spices products ranges from variety of milk, white, and plain chocolate products. So literally, the spicy deals with chocolate products. Spices mean sales had been chocolate products, but now the company has expanded into producing other forms of confectionery, which do not contain chocolate in any form. So that is, they're trying to switch to non-chocolate products like cakes and other sweets. We know that. And um, the fact that they are also you know, looking forward to expanding their operations, you know, seems to attest to the fact that uh, they are committed to developing new products, you know, more or less like innovation, trying to expand their revenue streams, you know, which is a, a good one too. Yeah, so it's part of their expansion strategies and the fact that they have strong regard for quality too you know it's a plus it's a plus to them so these are the, the strong regard for quality it's a strength yeah to to spicy so that is the customers are respecting spicy you know for the fact that yeah the quality the product is of what good quality what's that product that you feel that, i mean that you always want to buy despite that they are all products you know, as Cook and Pepsi. Cook and Pepsi. So which one is the top quality to you? Any one, like any of the two, because they are biggie and like other American cola and stuff that I can go for. Very good. So any other uh, response, like any other product that no matter how expensive it is, it is that one that you buy. No you feel well that the so, other so um between and all this other energy drink, I prefer Lucoset. Fantastic. Yeah. That's that's a very great one too. So I mean Lucoset Boost. You know, it has been around for years now. I think how much are they selling in now? I think uh, around over five hundred or so. Yeah, you can get Lucoset Boost for seven hundred and look at uh, the likes of uh that you call it fearless, you know, three fifty. So basically you know, the fact that the quality is top notch, you know, you would always want to go for it. So that's exactly what spicy customer are saying about spicy products. So that is it of top most quality. So and that's a plus to what? To spicy. That is irrespective, you know, of how much they offer their product for sale. Though I mean so far it's reasonable, the customer would always want to buy it because of what? The quality, not because of the price. So now Spices customers vary from individual to corporate client, client which purchase spices product to present to their own client as corporate gifts. That is, the customers of spicy that are patronizing spicy, they'll buy spices product, they'll still present it as gifts to their own client to, to tell you how, how presentable how good the product is you know all these are plus you know to spice they are just for that they are just like explaining further about you know the quality of uh, spices product basically so and they said although individual customers buy from spices stores franchise or online yeah why the corporate client purchase directly from what spicy on contract basis so that's the legal risk we talked about that uh, franchise and online selling. You think that online selling does not have its own disadvantages and advantages? And that's the e-business part, yeah? So we're still e also coming to that, yes. 
yeah, it has its own advantage, it has its own disadvantage. But you can, you know, talk on that. Like this uh, online selling, it is widely known. You can send within and outside the country. But at times, there will be delay in supply of the goods. And most to the description. So in the advertisement, may be quite different from the supply. So those are the things that I noticed there. That if in the advertisement is so that this is a sad good, the way it was described in the advertisement, might be different on the real goods supply to you. I want to add that versus what I got. I know most of us that are it. Oh, you are on point. You are on point. You now, when we talk about serious issues, number one, availability of the order, I mean, ability to meet up with the customer's order, the issue of privacy of customer data. So, when we talk about customer information too, that can be linked, leaked. And the fact that customers too can pay online, yeah, so they are also threatened, you know, by the fact that their uh, credit info, their credit card information, yeah, is exposed to all these uh, issues associated with them. So we're still coming down to break break it down. You know, they still mention in business late, in the later aspect. So we'll still break it down further. You understand? So okay, that's that's great. It's nice to hear from you on that. So any other comment? Yeah, I have a comment. Is led to them having to supply a particular organization. Although I, I was having an issue with network, I don't know whether I've commented on that. Whereby they will supply the already pro already produced product, but the other companies will now attach or fix their level on them and say, "Don't you feel that it will actually create a serious threat?" Okay, whereby they now eventually lose their their market share, all right, to this company that they are buying from them and recycling and selling. Yeah, perfect. You are, you are absolutely right. Just like I, I mentioned that um, it's an artificial competition that has been created and um, it will most likely uh, threat the uh, market share of spicy. You're absolutely right. I, I mentioned that earlier too. So we would still include all those things in our report. Yeah, so we're still analyzing the procedure with reference that. So, so we have the business structure. You know, it has an head office which uh, includes the management service structure and uh, two divisions, the customer sales and the distributions, also have uh, manufacturing and supplies. So but I didn't give us information such as quality control division, but I didn't give us information about the the, the finance the vision and the likes. Let me put it there. No information about quality control division. So what which other uh, division do you think is missing from this? Looking at you know a normal hospitality business. Yeah, so basically now for business I think to hospitality, there should be this quality control uh, measures that will be in place to ensure that and offer substandard products you know, to the customers. For the customer sales and distribution, we're told that you know the products are being supplied to outlets, which is the spicy zone stores, the franchise, and the online sales. Yeah, so take note of that. Also, the manufacturing and supplies. Yeah, so basically, the supply internally and externally. So the supply internally through Spice's own store, and likewise, they supply externally to corporate clients, to external retail stores, and uh, which sells under Spice's brand names and uh, also under their own special brand names. So, we we'll explain the implication of these special brand names too. As you have to take note of that, I think there should be human resources, a uh, division, I mean, literally a complete division that. Every hospitality business should have. Also, you know, the safety too. The health and safety division too. We should have something like that. Yeah, so quality control division, health and safety, human resources. I hope you are enjoying the person analysis, right? We still have a lot for you in stock. To access this complete video, the predicted unseen and the suggested solution, 
send the message to the contact on the screen so message me on whatsapp and um, i would send you the enrollment details as you can see on the screen these are results of my previous students so i believe you also want to be the next high scorer in case study thank you